Hello and welcome to Essex Free Library's Monday Storytime. My name is Jasmine and this is my helper for today and we are very happy to be reading with you this morning. I always like to start my story times with a hello song. It goes like this. Are you ready? We clap to say hello. We clap to say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap to say hello. And we wiggle to say hello. We wiggle to say hello. With our friends at story time, we wiggle to say hello. And we wave to say hello. We wave to say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave to say hello. Hello everyone, thank you for singing with me. Now today's story time is very different from our usual Monday story time because you're at your house and I'm at my house, but that's okay because we can still read stories together. Now what do you think we're going to read about today? When I was choosing books for this story time, I started thinking about all the many, many people who are out in our community right now helping to keep people healthy and safe. So I thought it would be a perfect day to read about some of those people. People like firefighters. So our first book today then is Firefighter, written by Norma Simon, illustrated by Pam Paparone, and read with permission from Simon and Schuster. Let's begin. Firefighter. You see we have a Firefighter on the ladder there with his hose. When the fire bell rings, firefighters stop whatever they are doing, slide down the fire pole one after the other, pull on the heavy pants, pull on the heavy boots, into the coats, on with the hats, and up on the trucks they go. Can you see the pictures? Open the firehouse doors, start the engines, they're off. Two fire trucks in this firehouse. Cars hear the sirens wailing, wailing. Pull to the side of the road and stop. Let the fire trucks roar by. Firefighters work hard. Firefighting is their work. Turn on the hoses, whoosh, out shoots the water, up go the ladders, up go the firefighters. Firefighters wear masks to help them breathe through the smoke. They search upstairs and downstairs to get everyone out. Look, they found a baby there. After the firefighters put out the fire, with everyone safe and sound and warm, their hard work is done. Time to look around. Time to ask questions. How did this fire start to burn? Firefighters search all around the fire, poking, checking for answers to their questions. Pack up ladders and tools, up go the hoses into the trucks. Down from the trucks come the tired firefighters. Pants and coats go up on hooks. Boots stand in a straight row. Hats sit on a long hat shelf. Everything back in its place. It's time to rest. Firefighters eat in the firehouse kitchen. Look at they're starving now. They're so hungry after all that hard work. Then it's time to wash the fire trucks and wind up the hoses. Time to clean the breathing mats and check every tank. 
make everything ready to fight the next fire. There are always firefighters in the firehouse, night or day, ready to go when the fire bell rings. Can you clean on the tracks? Open the firehouse doors, start the engines, they're on their way. And that's the end of that one. Thank you for listening. Now let's sing a rhyme about fire trucks. Here we go. Three fire trucks. One, two, three. Three little fire trucks waiting at the hall. One goes out to answer a call. With sirens sounds and lights on bright, off he goes. There's a fire to fight. Bye, fire truck. Now two little fire trucks waiting at the hall. One goes out to answer a call. With siren sounds and lights on bright, off he goes, there's a fire to fight. Bye, fire truck. Now we have one left. One little fire truck waiting at the hall. This one goes out to answer a call. With siren sounds and lights on bright, off he goes, there's a fire to fight. Now we have no little fire trucks waiting at the hall, but wait. They all come back into their stalls. With sirens quiet and all made right, three little fire trucks say good night. Our last book for today is called I'm Brave, and it's by Kate and Jim McMullen and read with permission from HarperCollins Children's Books. What do you call a big red engine with a siren? Ooh, and a horn, honk, honk. A tank full of water, slush, slush. And a whole lot, a whole lot of hose. Good looking, that's what. Check my wide chrome radiator, shiny as a mirror. And the water cannon sprouting from my head. I'm a toolbox too. Want to see what I'm packing? Let's see what tools he has. Hydrant wrenches, spanner wrenches, duck build lock breakers, rabbit tool door forcers, twin connectors, saws, hooks, crowbars, drills, axes. Can you match them? Shovels, mauls, ropes, flashlights, halligan tools, squeegees, bolt cutters, chocks, fans, nozzles. Look at all those tools. Clang, clang, clang. Someone saw smoke and called 911. Fire at the Pine Street Warehouse. Dispatchers sent the alarm. Clang, clang, clang. Firefighters, I got your vests, masks, air tanks. Let's roll. Eww. Blinkers, blink. Flashers, flash. Light bar, strobe it. Transmitter, give me the green. Honk, honk. Traffic, I'm talking to you. Over to the curb, I'm coming through. Cars and trucks race away, but I drive right to the smoke and flames. That's my job. Come on, pumpers, ladder trucks too. We gotta fight that fire. In position now. Trucks, under my wheels. Hydrant wrench, open the valve. Twin connector, double supply. Pump, give me pressure. Nozzles, get ready. Ho, 
noses. Discharge. Whoosh. Fire keeps burning. We keep fighting. Tools, you're up. Rabbit duck bell, snap the locks. Axes, mauls, break down the doors. Fans, pull out the smoke. Water cannon, ready, aim, fire, whoosh. Flames, smoke, going, going, gone. We put that fire out, all right. Back to the station. Firefighters, squeegee my hoses, hang them up to dry, pack me with fresh ones, put the tools away, soak me and scrub me, polish up my chrome, the fire engine's shiny and clean. Now it's shut-eye time at the firehouse. What do you call a big red engine with a siren? Eww! And a horn, honk honk, who drives through smoke and drives through heat straight to a blazing fire. Brave, that's what, and good looking. Brave and good looking. And that's the end. Now that's all I have planned today to read for story time. But before we go, let's sing our goodbye song. Do you like to sing with me? The goodbye song goes like this. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. We read big books and small books and wide books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Thank you so much for listening today. Be well and we'll see you soon.